Good morning, Al. Mm -hmm. I'm with Al in Montgomery Area Food Bank, and Al is the public relations person at the food bank. Al, can you tell me a little bit about your food bank and how you guys help the community? Well, um, we support uh, six, uh, 35 of the 67 counties in Alabama. That's obviously, if you do the math, that's a little bit over half of uh, the counties in Alabama. We have um, 11 of the 12 Black Belt region counties. Those are historically the, some of the uh, most uh, poverty-stricken uh, areas in the nation. In fact, uh, one of those counties is Wilcox County, and that is right now the poorest uh, county in the nation. Um, our service area is almost 25,000 square miles. It's 24,921 to be exact. So we've got a, a pretty uh, wide area, but we don't we don't do that alone. Um, we uh, our network is uh, first of, of all with Feeding America. Um, they provide uh, us with uh, national exposure in terms of uh, getting food and getting uh, access to uh, food retailers or wholesalers that will uh, work with. Uh, food banks to help fight hunger. Um, also, we work with uh, four PDOs, which are partner di distribution organizations. And what those are, four smaller um, food banks. So we're kind of responsible for them. Okay. Uh, we're in a uh, central part of Alabama, so we're in a good place to distribute to them. Um, foods uh, like from USDA and, and that, the commodity programs, they come to us and then we distribute that to uh, the other um, uh, four food banks in, in the region. Now the whole structure is built to support local community agencies. Um, I'm a retired uh, military guy in the military we used to call that a force multiplier. Um, the, uh, the concept is, is that by what I do enables you to be more successful in what you do. And uh, the analogy that we spoke about earlier is a, a tanker, an, an aircraft, and a jet aircraft. You see where it refuels that jet. Well, if that tanker isn't there, that jet falls out of the sky. Right. Or, if that tanker is there, it fills it up and then uh, the fighter goes on and completes its mission. So, we support those local community agencies because they are in the communities. They know better than, more than anybody really, uh, what those communities need. Um, most of them are faith-based, so that means that uh, not only would somebody be able to get help from that community agency for food, they may get other things as well. They may get fellowship, they may get support, they may get a, a, a number of different things. So if we're helping them with their food part of their mission, then all those other different things, they can fund those better. Right. So they're stronger, okay? So Feeding America, down to us, down to the four distri distri distributing partners, out to the community agencies. That means that we have an extended reach of more than 800 local community agencies. Wow. Yeah, that's, it's pretty considerable. That's amazing. And uh, so you guys are getting help from big uh, retailers and you know, like high net worth individuals, but what if I'm an average member of the community? How can I help? As uh, as a person from your local community? Well, um, there's a number of ways to help. You can work with the community agency, for one thing. Um, if you, if you want to work with a food bank, um, you can come here and, and volunteer. Um, if you want to assist or donate, we've got ample opportunities to, to donate um, either canned goods or usually non-perishable goods or, um, uh, of course, uh, cash. 
uh, we were talking earlier, um, our buying power is dramatically different than the average donor's buying power. Uh, One dollar for us and we can get close to seven pounds of food and we equivalent to about uh, seven meals. So I don't know where you shop, but more than likely we're going to be able to um, stretch that dollar. And it's important because uh, because um, we have a real strong reputation in our community. And when they hear about us being able to stretch the dollar, you know, whenever you donate, you want to make sure that it, that dollar is going towards what you want it to, to, to help, right. not administration costs and stuff like that. So it's important. Uh, we're stal- uh, stewards of uh, the uh, trust that people put in us. Um, I mean, I, obviously, I think that we're doing a heck of a job. But more importantly, um, our neighbors feel that way. Um, one of the, the best stories that I, I share is that um, usually in, in, in a nonprofit, nobody's getting rich. You know, I'm a retiree. I wanted to do something, get out of the house. You know, it's, it's not something, you know, career that, you know, you're going to shoot off and, you know, go to GE or something like that after that. Um, but it, there's also some riches that are not necessarily financial. I'll tell you a little story. The, the one that I, I, I share, the one that always hits me in the right smack in the heart, is um, an eight-year-old little girl. Uh, it was her birthday. And uh, her parents talked to her. And she decided that instead of all the people that were coming to the party, her friends and that, instead of bringing presents, she asked them to bring canned goods. And then she brought it here. Eight-year-old girl. Eight-year-old little girl. So, you know, it really kind of puts your values, you know, in place. And maybe kind of puts your um, support structure or, or your... I don't want to say morals, but certainly your, your, your values and, you know, what's important. And sometimes we, we learn from babes. You know, uh, it, sometimes, we, we, you know, an eight-year-old can lead the way. And it's, uh, it's something I'll never forget. That's amazing. You told me a little bit about uh, helping the seniors. I haven't heard that from other food banks. Uh, I know a lot of food banks help the kids out of, uh, out of school in summer, but uh, what about the seniors? Well, um, let me just touch real quick about the uh, about the kids, and then you'll be able to understand that a little bit more about the seniors. the The kids, in especially now, throughout the nation, if if your school district is, I believe, uh, four out of ten kids uh, qualify for uh, assistance then the whole school system can qualify for assistance. They've taken the um, stigma away from, you know, the tickets or whatever, that you're on the lunch program or whatever. Now it's, uh, here in Montgomery, kids get breakfast and they get lunch, except for when they're out of school. And those summer programs are very, very important. So you see where, you know, that support is there, Except for you know summer months, maybe not so much. Right. There is no uh, program, quite frankly, at least here in uh, in Alabama, that supports seniors. So seniors on a fixed income sometimes have to make a real hard decision. Right. When you have to decide between food and medicine, or food and utilities or food and shelter. That's not something I want my grandpa to do. So what we've set up is a senior supplement program. Like I said, we work with the agencies. We kind of do it together. The agencies will adopt that senior and we charge $100 a month because it's a nice round figure. Um, That senior will then get a box of food, senior orientated, you know, low sodium, and um, there's sometimes there's insure, sometimes, you know, there's not. um, 
they'll get a, a box of food a month. That's 25 to 35 pounds a month. Okay. Now, in the holiday season, they'll also get an extra box. So November and December, they get holiday food. But remember how we were talking about, you know, it's not just all financial. Right. And that those community agencies can do other things with the money that they save through us. Right. That's what we're talking about here, okay? Because not only will they be able to adopt that senior, but they go visit the senior. Right. The senior, I can't, I've gone and, and delivered a senior supplement. The senior lights up. I mean, they look forward to the visit. Um, you know, you can only watch so much television. Right. <laughs> you know? And I'm sure that where, where they are a lot, right. you know, assisted living or whatever, there's activities in that. But when you get, you know, the delivery of food, you get fellowship, you get some time, we spend some time there. What's also important is, is we see, you know, what's going on, especially in assisted living, making sure that they're taken care of. Right. Um, they, you can see if they're t taking their medicines, you can see how they're living. If it's somebody that, you know, is usually very, very precise and meticulous about how the their home is and now it's you know disheveled you know you, you, you get concerned then right so it's it's an important part of the, the whole process the fellowship the food of course and then we take the choice of food or medicine off the table awesome do you think we can ever root out the problem of hunger are we like trying to cure a symptom or are we trying to root out problem of hunger itself I think it's important that people understand that there are corporations that really focus on responsibility um, there's corporations in the food industry that are providing food for free. We're seeing more and more nutritious, fresh food that is being provided by those same retailers and wholesalers, which means that we also have a program about nutrition, exercise, and diet. When we deliver, you know, tons of food that is nutritious, that really reinforces that program. So there are corporations that are responsible. There is an importance in that because, you know, it's important to give back. Um, I, I have two daughters. I teach them, if you can, you should. Um, I think that if more people adopted of attitude, that the corporate folks are more and more doing if you can, you should. I think that, yeah, there's a possibility. We can root out hunger eventually. I think that we have ample food. Right. I think that we have um, ample opportunity to treat one another a lot better. Um, and if you can, you should. Awesome. Thank you. That's one of the best answers I've got yet. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for your time, Al. No problem. All right, cool. All right, Alan. Yeah. <laughs>